going on guys, Cage here again, this time showing you another tr showing you a trial Ultimate Ninja 4. Um, me and my partner, we did pretty good at this one, took us, took us a couple of tries. Um, usually, usually we'd usually get to the last wave and then just, it breaks down from there, but I'm going to give you guys the proper tips needed to get through this trial with ease. Um, it's, it is a tough trial, so you're going to die a lot, but um, with my tips you guys should have a good standard. Um, how to get through it. Uh, I do apologize early on because somehow after midway through the first wave it's gonna sounds gonna cut off. I don't know what the hell went wrong. But first here the Nomiji player wants to step all the way to the right side and aim at the Reaper skills. Now there's gonna be four of these guys, three now and then three after the burst um, are killed. What you're gonna do is it takes two shots to break the skull down. And make sure you try to stay on the opposite side of your partner because um, because if you're with, the, with your partner, it's going to screw things up. Um, my, my partner is stalling pretty much until I kill these three Reapers, for the most part. Because we've tried it many times, and when he's fighting, the sliders come out. And that's going to screw things up. Now here's a glitch. I should have actually obliterated the other guy, but I got that one instead. So your main goal to kill the reapers real quick is to knock them down, come right next to them, hold the UT charge, and then they usually, 9 times out of 10, they will try to grab you. Like you'll see here. Notice how we're both on opposite sides. And make sure you do that. Like that. They always try to do that. Almost all the time. Which is an instant kill. So, go ahead and do that. Try to save up your Nimpo as the Momiji player, if you're going to be using her. Um, try to save it up for health, so you can heal your partner in case he needs it or she needs it. Um, and just use the UTs, since they're safe and um, it kills them really good. Um, I also told my partner, because we did not have mics, which is actually a downfall. It would be helpful if he did. But we still managed to get through even without the mics. Um, so yeah, make sure you do the UT charges, and um, when, they're, when your partner has their UT charge, like myself right now, my, um, your partner comes to you, so the, the enemies come to you, and then you can kill them easily. And that's really it for the first wave. The sliders, what I like to do is, if I'm not going to UT, I'm going to do running triangle you hold it for a split second release sure it can cancel it repeat over and over again if you're an xbox swap the triangles with the uh, y's uh, you'll see it right here i think yeah like that it's really good it's really safe it's really fast Now, in terms of the next waves, there's actually going to be one more Reaper, because there's three in the beginning and then one afterwards. So before you fight the Reaper, because my partner had a UT, so it didn't really make a difference. But if you're not, if you don't have a UT or your partner doesn't have one, make sure to try to clean up these guys first.
but um, I wait for it just a little bit, so because when you wait for it, it starts to fill up, and heal up as fast as you can, because the regen's going to come down, and uh, I would say have your partner take the first one, and um, you yourself wait up, and I'm actually going to go to the close to the position where he spawns the second one. He spawns uh, after, after some time, so I'm not really sure about the time, exactly how long, but um, yeah, and he gets grabbed, I think, a couple of times, but uh, we still get the job done, and it's, this is pretty much one of those ways where you really shouldn't take damage or get hit at all, because, I mean, to a region is really, is really not that hard. And also, one thing to note about this, once, once the second region spawn, is if you kill a regent, the alchemists, the uh, mini regents, or the ones with the swords, they're going to spawn. So, at your best bet, you want to try to kill both of them at the same time, and I think this is what we try to do. Um, we get pretty close, I believe. Now this combo, when he does that combo, that's a that's a full punish. So what I tend to do is square, square, triangle, hold this, hold the first triangle, release, sure can cancel. Um, does pretty good damage, as you can see from the life bar on the on the bottom one. Um, anytime he does a combo, I don't know, it's after revive. Anytime he does a, a combo lengthy one or whatever, try to punish, but not too much. Like I I usually do square, square, forward, square, and then like a couple of squares afterwards or so like this so yeah th it doesn't do too much damage but hey every piece of damage counts right now the fireballs um once he does the blood balls uh, as as his health depletes when he starts doing a fireball when his health is like roughly full he'll just throw one um And then when his health gets like below 50%, like 50%, he'll start throwing two. And when it gets to the last quarter, he will he'll start throwing three. But what my strategy is when he throws the fireball. Now she can I'll make a video of how to fight him with her um, later on. So it's not gonna be bad. Be aware of that move. That move takes so much damage. It's not even funny. Um, yeah, so when he does his fireball, dodge, 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 and then when you know the last one's going to come, you come right next to him and do um, running triangle hold, release, and then sure it can cancel. When you sure it can cancel, not only does it make you safe, because you canceled out of the animation and avoid recovery frames, but um, it also makes him forcefully to block. Um, because he, he's going to deflect the shuriken. Now my strategy for these alchemists, um, actually no, these are not the mini regions, my bad. Um, these are normal ones, mini regions come later. Um, but the strategy for the alchemists is just running, triangle, release, shuriken. And you're going to see that to be a very useful strategy for most of the annoying enemies. It just works very good, so you might not, you won't, why not use it, right? Um, UTs also work well. Um, <coughs> Um, just do, just do your thing. I mean, really, they're not that hard. Um, and preferably, I would advise uh, the Momiji player to f get the OTs, obliteration techniques, because she is the one that can heal both parties, um, both players. Sorry, um, not Ryu, um, and and whoever is your other partner is going to be. But my recommendation, honestly, for this mission is one Ryu, one Momiji. It's it's probably the best combo because. Ryu has the overpowered scythe, and then Momiji has the healing, and I don't know, just for me, I've been playing with her, like, since, since I started playing the game, and it's, I don't know, she's got adapted to her style, like the double jump, and then all her moves and everything, and then plus the healing, both enemies. Now here, um, my recommendation is for the scythe user to fight him. Um, not because I don't know how to fight him, but because um, it's a lot easier because you can just play keep away 360T or Y over and over again like you see my partner doing right now. And then once this first uh, human Ryu is dead, you're going to have um, a human Genshin, not the fiend one, the human one. And he's going to spawn right where that, um, where's the far right blood stain is over there, he's going to spawn right there. Um, and then once you kill him, one human Ryu and one uh, human Genshin spawn, but the human Genshin spawns on the opposite side, so like across from it to the left side, that means. So, I mean, once he's dead, I mean, that's really it. I mean, Genshin, everyone really knows how to fight him, it's really not hard. He plays on a 1-2-1 system, which is pretty much... And some
sometimes how I act weird, so it's give or take. Um, so most of the time you want to do a flying swallow, I mean, want, want him to do a flying swallow at you. It's like the easiest way to punish. Um, so you basically want to stay away from him, have big, uh, do a flying swallow. From Momiji, it works a little differently how you fight him. Um, and actually, she it's kind of funny because she does more damage, a little bit more damage than Ryu does. Um, as far as like when you combo the Izuna drop. Um, what I do is I do square square to stun test to see if he's stunned. If he is stunned, I follow up with the Izuna. Um, it gets, it's a pretty good damage that you can take on him and inflict on him. Sometimes you can get hit. Um, sometimes you can hit him and he won't be stunned. So just be careful that the void um, is pretty easy to dodge, very easy, um, it's very predictable. All you gotta do is just run, and you'll know his sound effect when he does it. Um, and I apologize again about the sound not being in there, I really don't know what the hell happened. Um, yeah, and then just you run and then tap the, the dodge button. Um, I would not recommend relying on standing there still holding on block and dodging because as everyone knows who's ever played Ninja Gaiden, that's probably the worst tool in terms of response. That's usually where it screws you over. Now this is where the, the other human Genshin spawns. And I think my partner actually already killed the, the other Ryu, so... Now, this is actually the easiest wave, um, believe it or not. This one and the Regent. Um, the one after this is, is the make or break for this mission, really. it's. It's obnoxious the amount of stuff they send at you. I mean, this mission alone, you're gonna have to, you, you kill ten bosses. I mean, and I count the Ryu clones as bosses because they have a life bar. Now, um, as you can tell from my uh, key gauge, it's maxed. So, um, and I actually should have done this earlier. I should let my partner fight him because I can't heal him if my health is full. So, the well, her healing abilities are nice. Um, they have a limitation, so if her health is maxed, she obviously can't use her meditation skill because there's really no point to heal yourself because you're already maxed, right? So, um, I should have let him get the key because, um, he would have, uh, he would have been able to get more key. I don't know, I obviously can't tell by how much key he has because the game doesn't let you see your partner's key gauge, which I think is stupid. And again, obviously we didn't have mics, so really they couldn't tell him, so I from a shot and arrow, which indicates go fight him. Okay, once he should be narrowing down to killing him real soon. Okay, so he's dead. Um, this next wave is really where it gets tough. Um, heal up real quickly as fast as possible and where the staircases are there's going to be two dokus that spawn um once a, one of the dokus is at 50 percent health you're going to get mini regions and that's where it really gets annoying um the sword stomp that he just did right there um you can jump over it and with momiji also another cool thing she's got the double jump which is a completely lifesaver complete lifesaver it's really awesome um, now I do have a semi-working loop that, I mean, it, it works sometimes, I really don't get the properties of it. And I did upload a video, and I'll probably link it in the description as well. Um, like, I really don't have a good strategy for him just yet, besides that loop that doesn't really work very much, so it kind of makes it unreliable too much. Um, but what I just do is the running T-hold release, um, be aware of his attacks, he's gotten much faster since the original game, um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy that they, they allow you to jump over the, the sword thing that he did, this move, because, I mean, while it wasn't hard in Ninja Gaiden 3 to dodge into it, it it's, it's just annoying to have to not, you know, you have to dodge into it to actually dodge it. Now, once, like I said, once one of these is like 50% health, which is coming close to my partner, because me, me personally, I, I'm not going to be killing him. It's my partner going to be killing him. I'm just narrowing whatever health I can down, narrow down for him, so, um, so he can take care of it. And here, I don't know why, why it froze. 
froze in the worst time ever. Like it, it lagged in. I don't know why. And Ninja Gaiden's kind of been known for that. It's known to like load in the worst possible times. Like when you're supposed to attack something or do whatever. And uh, and if you're the scythe user, the Doku loop from the original Ninja Gaiden 3. And again, I'll be making a video for that. As much as I hate using Ryu in this game, I'll I'll make that video for you guys. It's it's it'll kill him pretty quickly. Um, I think he can deflect it sometimes, but for the most part, it's a pretty good loop. Um, yeah. Um, so pretty much you want to try to stall him anytime he does the sword pound thing. This move, just come in, get a couple of hits, run back. Again, I mean, just the shuriken canceling. Learn to use it. It's such a lifesaver. Um, so yeah, once once it gets 50% health, um, the regents, the mini regents are going to come out, so that's the alchemists with the swords. Uh, and, um, your goal as Momiji is to try to take at least two of them off of him. If you can, if you, uh, off of your partner, sorry. Um, if you can take two of them off of him, off of your partner, that'll be really good, because what your partner will do is, um, he can, he can, at least my partner, he, he said he's able to fight, he's able to fight, uh, the, the, or fight Doku and, um, have one region with him because it's not that bad that way. At least that way if two of them are on me, and I'm, all I'm, do, all I'm doing is pretty much playing keep away. He already killed his, that's how fast he killed him. Now here I'm trying to, like, squeeze in to see, um, how many, I can, if I can get at least two of them with me. And that dash that the that they do, the alchemist, I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure you can dodge it. You can you can hold block and you won't get any chip damage. I'll have to test that. And he already killed the Doku. That was like, that's what that's how fast he dies when you leave them alone. When when no uh, when there's no no one to bother. But once this is over, um, the 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 mission's still not done yet. There's still one more wave. Still one more. Um, Piece. No, there's still so, some couple bosses you gotta fight. Uh, once, once these guys are dead, um, the same places where um, the double Doku spawned um, at the beginning of this wave um, is where you're gonna fight. Um, they're almost gonna be on the right side, looking like from the starting position of the mission. Now here, heal up as quickly as you possibly can. Don't even worry about the t anything else. Just heal up. Try to get as much as you can. Um, your goal here is to, I'm surprised how I didn't get hit there, but your goal here is to try to kill Alma real quick as a Momiji. And, um, you can punish her if, if she does the grab, but I would not risk it. And look how much damage that did, um, and by the way, that, that video I did for the 7 seconds, how you can kill her, um, it doesn't always work. Um, but my, my best advice here is, if she's on the ground, you need to try to get her back up as fast as possible, if not knock her down. But when she does the pillar like that, do the double jump and then do the square. Um, double jump and then hit square, and if you're Xbox it's um, X. That does so much damage, look, I'm, I'm going to be able to kill her really quickly. Um, so, it just so happens that we ended up killing both at the same time, which is awesome because I had all the region, re mini regions on me while he, um, well, he was, uh, he was taking care of Doku, which was good. Um, and now that's pretty much it. This is pretty much the end of the trial. Um, and again, I'm sorry about the sound. I really don't know what happened. Hopefully, nothing like this happens again. Um, but at least you can get an idea of how we dealt with this, uh, mission. And here we thought it was over, but actually one or two regions left. Yeah. That's really it. Um, yeah, I mean, if you, we'll be doing some more trials, um, I'll be, the more, the faster I get them, the, done, the, the faster I'll upload them, just keep a lookout for those. And yeah, if this video helps you, please, uh, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, please, and, uh, this is Cage, and we'll see you in the next few trials, hopefully, and, uh, Master Ninja Guide as well. Alright guys, take care.